Hey, what's up? I'm Frank Bella from Anthrax, and you're watching Hard Rock Gaming.net. Columbus, Ohio. The you know, one of my friends. So yeah, yeah. got your, your skull friend there. Uh, this is the is, this is the only headlining show on this run. On this run, yeah. Very yeah. nice. This is a, we're in the middle because of all the snowstorms uh, last week. Uh, we had to push everything. This wasn't going to be a seven in a row. When now this is the third or seven in a row. We don't like usually doing more than four or five in a row. But um, the snowstorms you know, were just crazy last week. In New York. We got trapped in Baltimore to come to New York. We had to postpone New York. Blah, 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 and now we're here. Well, we're glad you're here. I'm glad we're here also. <laughs> uh, got a new album coming out next month, mm -hmm. uh, towards the end, the 26th, For All Kings. February 26th. I'm programmed to say that. Yes, February 26th. <laughs> I'm, look, dude, I, I say this with every bit of uh, enthusiasm. I can't wait to get this record, to make people hear it. Um, I think, honestly, it's the best work we've done. I, I'm, I'm genuinely excited. It feels like it's... It's so long away from I, February 26th. It feels like it's so far away, even to this day. Was it like that's next month, right? Yeah. It's, it's, it, it just feels so much so far away because we've lived with the record and we're so ready to play. I would love to play every song off this record. And I know you have to sell your record, and everybody has a new record coming out. Uh, if anybody's like worship music, I think this is the next step up. I think we've really, and that's not even to blow it up. I'm just really, really proud of it. We took our time. No, I got, I got to hear it. I'm cool. lucky. So, so you know, hear I, you I, agree. I, I should talk to you. Do you. Are you digging it? I am absolutely digging it. Cool, so man. I, and you. I know you, you write the melodies. Yeah, I write those melodies. And, um, I mean, Blood Eagle Wings, um, Monster at the End, especially, you know, really wow. showcases Joey. God, absolutely, yeah. So. I mean, Joey, and for that matter, Belladonna on, on this record, I mean, I, I think this, this is easily his best work. He's always been a great singer, but Joey... It's it's another it's another level I think he's done. And John Donay, I have to say this, um, John Donay playing lead guitar. Some of the I, I sometimes I have to go back to the leads because I'm so into them. Then I mean he he can do it all. He can tell the story in his lead, and plus he could also burn with the best of them. He's he's really he's always been a great player with Shadows Fall, but I, 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 some of the stuff I'm listening to, I'm like wow, this is so good, man. And, uh, I'm just really excited. And I think everybody in Anthrax, I think. We all are, we all know what we have. I think everybody's in, in good form right now. So I know this is the first time in a long time you've written to Joey yeah. for his voice. Yeah, because it's his persistence. Yeah. So I, what was that like? I mean, it, it's like riding a bicycle, or and it, you know what it is? It's easier knowing what the band. It's it's easier knowing who's in the band. Quite honestly, last time it was a different deal. We just we write the way we write. It's Charlie Scott and I, we write the way we write. It's a formula and. It's just easier to know that Joey can do this and that, and, and knowing what kind of tones it is. Um, it, it's, it's a really cohesive, and I can go forward on this and saying the band's tighter now, uh, just getting along wise. And I think, I don't, I, mean, I think since the early days of Anthrax, there's a common goal, like, you know what I mean? There's something, I don't even know what this achievement thing is, where we feel like we want to go. I think there's another level we want to get to. Uh, and it's, I think it's a very much, it's a, it's a, a burning, Hungry man, it's a burning in your gut kind of vibe, you know. Good to hear. And yeah, it comes through in the music. So. Cool, man. Thanks. Um, you mentioned that this is uh, John's first album with the band. Uh, yeah. What? How would you compare and contrast him with Rob in the studio? I love him. You know, it's funny because Rob, there's ten minutes for me. Uh, his mother and father, ten minutes for me. I'm very close with Rob, and you know, and the Volby guys. We we just finished a tour with them. Mm -hmm. Very close with those guys. Uh, I'm psyched for those guys. I can't wait to hear their new record also. Uh, with John and Rob, I just did two, two different players, two different schools of playing, but they're both great in their own right, you know? And that's not even being politically correct, they're just great. They're two talents, Rob's got a great ear for music. John is a different technical um, way of uh, playing, uh, but it's a nice thing going on. It all adds, both lead types added specific parts, uh, great specific leads that I think uh, all of the songs they played on like, even for the new record, I have to say, I can speak from when people who haven't heard this yet, like some stuff that I didn't expect the John Donay to come out with, and I'm like, wow, I didn't even see that coming. I'm like, oh, man. But Rob's also done that in the past. We've always been really lucky with the lead players, I think. Um, and 
I think it all adds to because it's got to be right. Otherwise, we wouldn't let it on the record, you know. So it's got to be right. So and and Jay Rustin, let's go there. Jay Rustin is with uh, John Donay no matter what. He's in the studio with him all the time. He's, and Charlie's also worked with some leads with John Donay. So I think it, it all it, it all forms to be this one big thing on top of the song. And it's got to be right uh, to make one collective idea, mm -hmm. you know. Well, his solo on Breathing the Lightning, I know that's that's what everybody yeah. has been able to hear, so yeah. uh, it just blew me away. Me too. Yeah. When I first heard it, because all I, I mean, forever you have, the, you have the space of the bars, you know, without the lead in it, so that's what we had to go on for the, you know, as we're getting emails for the mixes and stuff, leads on it, yeah, leads on it, yeah, but I finally heard it, I was just so psyched, because it all made sense, you know, yeah. it, it all came together nicely, so... Uh, now is the best time because the record's done, you know. Mm -hmm. No more demos, no more, you know, no more back and forth like this, you know, because we take a long time to really edit the parts out. That's why it takes a, a while to write and, and finish an Anthrax record because we truly live with it as fans and say what's missing, what's not missing, what needs this, what, and we really make sure it's the right record. So, well, it kicks off with you gotta believe. You know, <laughs> the first track is very important. Uh, totally. Totally. And that's why I laugh at that when you say that because. I think when people hear that, it's, wow. yeah, it just hits you like a sledgehammer. Uh, you know, it's it's very thrashy right off the. But then there's that uh, kind of epic middle part to yeah. it. Uh, it's, it's it's a long song too. It's it's a long song, plus. yeah. Um, can you talk a little bit about the creation of that song? Yeah, it's just the jam uh, again. <clears throat> it started just as the three of us just jamming like that. I think uh, Charlie came in with that riff, and Scott, Charlie, and I just started as we as we do. Go keep going, and it just felt right to to work it verse, chorus, you know, the whole thing. And then that big middle part came up, very much an atmospheric kind of vibe. I, feel, I don't think you see that coming. No. And that's what we wanted. I don't think you shouldn't be a contrived way of writing. It should always be different. And that part just came out of nowhere because right, let's break it down and just bring it somewhere. And when I think people hear that because it completely takes off somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And I think people are going to expect that, which I love. Because it should be innovative. It should be unexpected. And I think that takes you somewhere else and then comes back into it again. And the lead, again, John Donay, that lead section is just fucking incredible. Uh, and I know I don't want to sound like I'm hyping this too much. I just, <laughs> I'm a fan of this stuff, so I can't wait to play this song live and, and, and get that vibe, you know? What was it about the, the title track or that, that term, For All Kings, that made it represent the whole album? Well, for me, for all kings, I mean, I think Charlie came up with that title. When I heard him say that title, I said, fuck yeah, that's perfect. It's the way I feel. It's about, for me, it means about owning your own kingdom, like being, taking ownership of your own shit, really. You know, it's, it's really control your own kingdom, whatever you do in your life. There's not a lot of that going on, but control, you can control your own life and your own kingdom. That's what I get out of it. It's a positive message. It's like, yeah, own it, man. Own it. And... It, it totally it leads into a, a, a bunch of other stuff in life. Uh, Evil Twin was the, the lead single that everybody heard. Yeah, uh, and it seems like it's metal's answer to ISIS. <laughs> uh, it's just angry and uh, well, great dude, message. Look there. at the world we're living in now. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, look, at, and it, it says it all. For the lyrics, you know, is, is Scott writes writes most of the lyrics in this band, so uh, it's always been intelligent. So we could easily uh, and we read everything before you know it comes out and all that stuff. So. Uh, and and I, I asked Scott, well, give me where you're coming from so I can relate to it, you know, and I do. I mean, 99% of the times, and stuff that I, if I didn't, I question him and say, oh, I understand, okay, now I get it. Uh, and it's, it's really, it's well thought out, so we never really have to worry about lyrics. It's, you know, a, it's, a, it's a perfect song for now. Totally, and yeah. you know, we just finished in Europe. So okay. in the chorus, when you're singing, you're no martyrs, it means a whole lot more, you know, and, and look, the bottom line is, it's a different time. It's a different time now, this is the way it is. You know, uh, if nobody has an answer yet, I think there will be an answer, and right now there's not. But like everything else in life, the cycles of life, there will be some kind of answer. The only thing we have is hope, right? And look to the future. What, are we gonna cower over and die? You can't do that, right? So there's gotta be an answer somewhere. Eventually, human nature will take over. Uh, even zero tolerance yeah. hits on a lot of those. Uh, totally, it's uh, again those themes. You can you can go right into it, and it, again, it, it touches on what's going on. And uh, take your own, you know, what I say to people with the lyrics that we have. I said, listen to it, read them, 
and get your own vibe on it, right? And I think that's the only way, because that's what I do with other, other bands. I said, wow, oh, what did this guy's take on it? How do I feel about it? Okay, I can look at it this way, his way, or take it from my own way also, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. And make it your own, you know? Well, as the bass player, we need to talk about the Battle Chose Us, because they <laughs> that, uh, that intro part. Oh, uh, well. you just just fat, beefy, you know. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Again, I have to say this in credit Jay Rustin because he came up with that. So I used to say, this song, the beginning, just did, just, I want to fucking, can I curse this? Absolutely. Right. Yeah, I want a fucking distorted, <laughs> I, I want a distorted, disturbing sound. Disturbing. And Jay Rustin kept, I swear, man, he just kept doing knobs. <laughs> he kept fucking turning knobs. And it got more to the point where, and even after it was done, he even added more to it. So... Uh, Jay Rustin is absolutely the, the sixth Beatle, and he's a bass player right off the bat, so I love him anyway. Uh, he gets it. Jay knows a lot what I'm thinking before I know what I'm thinking. It's true. Uh, you guys, uh, we've mentioned the tour that you're in the middle of it with uh, Liam of God and Deaf Heaven. Yeah. And, uh, have you checked out Deaf Heaven? I, I, I'm awesome. planning on going there. Dude, next, totally play, play give it. I have to hype them. Here's, here's why. This is a good package anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I just... I like being pleasantly surprised, you know, and I like going to the side and seeing, I like seeing how the crowd's warming up and stuff when people play before us. These guys, it's so good, man. It, it's really, there's a great musicality about them, but these crazy like, rough vocals that I love, it just all makes sense. And I, I've gotten to know these guys now, they're really good, really great dudes, man. All Anthrax fans, they watch us every night. so. Um, it's a really cool thing. It's uh, I, I think I think that band's gonna be another level. They're gonna uh, yeah. they're a big bright future. A lot of hype behind them, that's for sure. Yeah. which they well, should be. well earned. Yeah. Should. Uh, I love the mix on that tour though, because I mean, you mentioned that they're, they're yeah. kind of a new. Unfortunately, new I think they're playing down the road for tonight. Yeah, we yeah. wanted to get them on this show, but they were already booked over there. They they wanted to play this show too with us. But the promoter, there's something to promote it. I think they're doing an early show, though. So yeah, it's an early yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. It can please everybody. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, your buddy David Elson uh, and, and his uh, little band Megadeth just put out a new yeah. record. Have, have you heard it? Uh, I heard the single. Yeah. I've been in Anthrax world. Like, Understandable. Yeah. yeah, you've been locked down. Uh, can we expect more uh, altitudes and attitude? Yeah. we have. A, David and I have, a, with Jay Rustin, we have a record pretty much done. I'm actually going gonna, gonna to try and do one more song while I'm out there. Um, and when this store finishes in LA, uh, but we have a, pretty much a full uh, LP going, uh, ready, cool. and we've been ready. But um, uh, Jay's very excited. We're all really excited about that. But we have to kind of put that to the side while our day jobs are taking over, respectfully. And it's it all you know there'll be a time for it. And um, his management, there's a record deal, all that good stuff. So um, if people liked anything on the last Altitudes and Attitude, I'm, I'm pretty excited what they're going to say on this one. Who do you consider a, a vocal influence? Wow, oh, God. Me. Um, who, for me? Yeah, for you. It's so weird to hear vocals when I, because I don't consider myself a singer. I'm just, <laughs> I, got, I just, you know what I mean? I just sing for Alpha yeah, yeah. Attitude. So, um, Paul Stanley is a, a nice. lot of that, because he's always been one of my biggest vocal influences. Um, I love what Robert Zandon does. You know, these are my heroes. So, yeah. that's pretty much, you know, and, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, speaking of legends, we, we just lost two uh, bass legends, uh, yeah. Lemmy and Jimmy Bain. Uh, yeah. Any any encounters or favorite memories? Uh, There's so many. I mean, well, Jimmy, I only met once, and he was a really such a nice, sweet man. It was actually, it was, uh, God, I forget it was in L.A. It was such a sweet man. And I've always been a big fan of Jimmy and, and his playing. Um, and I just, I came out of nowhere. I didn't expect that. Yeah. I mean, and then, well, obviously, Lemmy, we've been on tour so much with Lord Head. Uh, we were very close from Motorhead, from band to crew. Uh, we, and look, at the end of the day, everybody's got their time. I didn't see that time coming with Lemmy, because uh, we're the same management. And I, I knew he wasn't feeling well, but I didn't expect that call. Because our manager told us first before anybody knew. And I, I, was, I was walking in a mall, I remember, with my family. And I got the, uh, an email from my manager. And I remember, I, said, I, just, I told my wife, look, I just need to walk around. So I, they went shopping, and I, I, I was really, I was full of emotion. I, I just didn't expect it at that time. But um, the great thing, and I have to put this on a positive note, the great thing that Lemmy left us, uh, he was always himself. And Lemmy always made it cool to be yourself, because he was Lemmy, he was a signature Lemmy guy. Uh, this was, he was never anybody else, never tried to be anybody else. 
he was Lemmy from the look he had, his incredible bass tone, incredible bass tone, voice, incredible voice. I everything about that package will never be done again. That was that Lemmy always by just by being Lemmy, it always said that you can be yourself and achieve. It's a positive thing to me. So I mean, I think he left. Uh, he left the world with a great thing that is his music, and and also the message for, with Lemmy is like, just be yourself. You just go out there and go forward and, and fuck everything, man. Just do it yourself. Be yourself. And uh, I think he made it okay to be yourself. And I thought that's that's the biggest gift, man. So well said. Yeah. Uh, can you talk a little bit? And this is just a, a fan question. I mean, being, me being a fan, mm-hmm. the different editions of For All Kings that are coming out for fans to buy. Like, yeah. What What are the options there? I, I saw there were some live tracks. Yeah, there's, there's a bunch of different things. You know, we have to do. It's funny because we were talking about this the other day. Like, the Japan version has to come out with an additional song. Like, like, you know what I mean? But why Why do they only get it? It's like a contract thing that they. I don't know how that worked out, but now we're trying to figure that out. But they have an additional song, but uh, I'm sure people will get it. <laughs> it's that big yeah. deal. But there's different vinyls uh, from, from Megaforce. Uh, I love what's going on, because Anthrax has always cared about our packaging. You know? And Charlie Benetti, to his credit, has always been great. And he's a, he, he's a, I don't know if you've ever you've seen Charlie's drawings. Charlie has great ideas in his, his art mind. I don't know if you've ever sat down with Charlie and just watched what he does on uh, a piece of paper. I grew up with Charlie. I know how great he is. Uh, uh, as an artist, he's incredible. Like he can just imagine stuff or copy stuff just as he's looking at it. Like my, I can't put two sticks together if I try to draw. It. I'm envious. I'm like, wow, that's so great. You have this, man. And, uh, aside from being a great musician and all that stuff, but uh, he's always made sure that, that that part of it is done well with our record company. So uh, the package is incredible. So if you go to Anthrax.com, I have to promote it. Uh, and they have there's so many different ways from nuclear blast in Europe mm-hmm. to mega force in America. There's a plethora of different album versions and stuff like that to go on. So everybody just check that out. And the playing cards. And, and the playing right. cards, which is great. We've been signing so many playing cards for the for I and mean, which is great about that. That means you get the record, you buy the playing cards, there's a code on there mm-hmm. and you pre order the the record uh, for all kings. So I thought that was a great idea. We just did an in store last night in New Jersey. We signed so many of those things, which is great. That, yeah. that means people are going to get the record. Uh, so in this day and age, <clears throat> you, you do anything to get your music into people's hands. On top of being a bass player, guitar, a guitarist, a vocalist, mm-hmm. you're also an actor. Yeah, occasionally. I, well, I study. I, I, you know, it's funny because I studied acting. I, I studied acting. And people think this is like a new thing. It's twenty something years. Yeah. I do theater in New York. I don't. So I, I think people want to hear. Oh, you want to do acting? I. Have, I have always done acting. It's just like I'm not. I don't want to be fair. It's fucking like bullshit, fame thing. I can't be bothered. I just always like performing into another person's life. I think you know, going into being somebody else is really cool. And I've done off off Broadway plays. I've done films and stuff, shows. Uh, I think people are just finding out about it now. Yeah, they do. Like that Greetings from Tim Buckley. I guess that came on HBO. So yeah, I played Richard Hell in that, and people saw that. And, that, that was you. I'm like, wow, okay. So I've always done that. But when I'm off, Anthrax says I have a lot of time off later. When I'm off, I just dig into that. It's fun. Who could forget Joseph Parker? Joseph Parker. Yeah, I played, uh, well, that was, what year was that? God, I don't even remember. I was, I was a, mug, a, a, a mugger? What was like that? Yeah, yeah, that was crazy. Do you have anything in the pipeline that people might not know? As soon about? My, it's funny because I, I just talked to my agent two days ago. It sounds so weird when I say it. But she said, when are you going to be off? And then she looks at anthrax.com and sees my schedule. She yeah. goes, what are you doing? <laughs> so I guess and the yeah. answer is that when I have time, I dig right into that, but it's gotta be time. Right now, for all games is most important, so it is what it is. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Uh, silly question for you, I know your father, uh, yeah. and, and part of being a dad is being subjected to children's television. Yeah. What's your, uh, what do you find the most annoying? Children's, children's programming. Well, you know, there is a, I don't understand, what was that purple that used to be popular, the purple dinosaur? Barney? Barney. I never got that. I'm a, look, at this point I'm a connoisseur of, because I have a nine year old, yeah. and I've grown up, and I'm pretty much Mr. Mom at home when my wife works. So when I'm off tour, it's all my kid. He's, now he's just into Minecraft and all that stuff. So that, that's it for him. Yeah. Uh, but there was the backyard again, there was all that good stuff coming up, Nickelodeon stuff, Disney stuff. But the Barney stuff, I just never, and the Teletubbies. 
I just never understood it. Yeah. I just never got. I don't think because he, he didn't get it either. He didn't like it either. But I just said, how does I? How do they identify? But it's so popular. But I just never got it. Somebody does, but, I guess. Man. I know. But the fathers and moms will understand that not everybody's a father and mom out there. As you, you have no choice but to get into this. It is what it is. It's part of the At game. least know about it, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you have to know well, You about mentioned it. Minecraft. That's my... Minecraft is... My son is building the world on Minecraft right now. And I don't understand any of it. But I have to like limit his usage on the iPad. It's yeah. Like, right, the homework time. <coughs> you gotta be dead. It's like crack cocaine. It's totally yeah, like I don't understand it. I don't. I want to, but you know what? This, I have songs I have to play. <laughs> I, have to, I have to work. <laughs> well, Frankie, dude, thank you so much for doing this. Thank much appreciated. Much. Peace. Peace. For all kings, oh, yeah. for all kings, February 26th. iTunes, record stores, please, record stores. Record stores, absolutely. That's where we got the cards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That. Is that record store still open? Oh, there's a ton of records. You know, is it? Is it is one down like three or four blocks? Yeah, use kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Upstairs. Yeah, is that yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go there later. Sure. Why not? Excellent. Well, thank you again. Is this for you, just in your own use, and or is this going to a publication? It's, it's a, it's a publication. <laughs> <laughs> just happens to. <laughs>